Hi there everybody, this is Ink Graphics Design and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to color correct or basically color adjust your image. There are multiple different ways of doing this in GIMP, but the first simple most obvious ways are to go to color and then adjust color balance, hue and saturation, or colorize. Seeing as all of these are fairly self-explanatory, uh, I'm going to cover gradient maps instead. They're widely used in Photoshop, but not a lot of people use them in GIMP. So the way you'd implement a gradient map is you duplicate your layer here. I'm using Control shift d but you can alternatively right click and hit duplicate. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to colors, map, gradient map. And then that's going to reduce our image to two colors. Now right now it looks like I simply made the picture black and white. But in reality we've changed all the dark values to the foreground, which right now is black, and all the light values to the uh, background, which is white right now. So. If we change our black and white right here to being, say, green and blue, then we're going to get a green and blue picture. And uh, then, if you want to recreate a Photoshop effect, for example, you can set it to overlay. Uh, this is a really important part of GIMP that I don't actually see a lot of people use. Some people do use it, admittedly, but it's crucial to design in my book. and. Uh, it's the layer modes. Right here it says mode, normal, you can adjust this to whatever you want, uh, lighten, which basically would just lighten your image, darken, darkens your image, overlay. I don't know what the algorithm is for this, but it creates a lovely effect that's akin to overlay, uh, sorry, akin to brightness and contrast in that it bumps up the contrast, but it uses those colors and adds to it in such a way that often looks incredibly realistic and can change the feeling of a picture. For example, this is kind of orange light and got a lot of sunshine in it, and then it's instantly darker and gloomier. And I used this in a recent piece, but that's kind of beside the point. Anyhow, that's how you would use a gradient map. You pick these two colors here, and then you set them to whatever you like, you apply the gradient map, and then you go over to mode and you change the mode until you get the look that you like. A lot of it is just going by eye. But that's the technical aspect of it. Th those simple steps, just three steps there, and you can be on your way to making the beautiful photo manipulation of your choice or whatever. Anyhow, I hope this tutorial did actually help you out and you've learned a bit about GIMP. And if not, I would encourage you to send me an email or send something in the comments section or wherever, and I'll do my best to answer it. Anyhow, that concludes this tutorial. I hope it helped you out, and uh, happy holidays.